everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but not their own facts. It's one of the key quotes of our times, and it's painfully relevant as the COVID crisis escalates across our nation 10 months after it arrived. Look, public health shouldn't be partisan, and science is not really a matter of opinion. But it's been made to seem that way, turning masks into culture wars with calls to resist restrictions that are designed to save lives. Well, now we know that Americans are paying the price for all this foolishness. With more than 140,000 new cases a day, hospitalizations doubling month over month, with one state reportedly hitting the highest COVID mortality rate in the world. Back in June, Vice President Pence wrote that the media has taken to sounding the alarm bells over a second wave of coronavirus infections. Such panic is overblown. Not so much, unfortunately. Because now we're in a third surge, worse than ever before. Cases are up across the country, but the governors who back the Trump party line are the ones really reaping the whirlwind. Because no states have seen more new COVID-19 infections, hospitalizations, and deaths over the past week per capita than North and South Dakota. And take a look at the top 15 states with the most cases per capita. With just two exceptions, Wisconsin and Illinois, they're all deep in Donald Trump's base. This is what happens when ideology elbows out science. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem was lionized in June by the National Review as the governor who stayed the course, the course being resistance to public health measures like wearing masks. At that time, South Dakota had just over 5,400 cases and 65 deaths. Today, they've had over 67,000 cases and 644 deaths. Its seven-day positivity rate, a stunning 58%, and still no mask mandate. The tragedy is compounded by the fact that some people who are being hospitalized still are in denial about COVID because they've bought into President Trump's bluster. They don't want to believe that COVID is real. Their last dying words are, um, this can't be happening, it's not real. Disinformation can be deadly. But this is what happens when the Trump White House advisors like Scott Atlas push herd immunity. More people die. And the president's been MIA. He hasn't attended a meeting of his COVID task force in months. Since the election, he's found time to play four rounds of golf and tweet more than 400 times, but almost nothing about COVID. He's refusing to allow the COVID task force to brief President-elect Biden. While an updated model estimates U.S. COVID deaths will reach 439,000 by March 1st if we don't change course now. This will affect everyone. And the need for leadership crosses party lines, as California Governor Gavin Newsom learned when he got caught attending a restaurant party, contrary to his own guidelines. We're in a tough road for the next few months, and it's a path that mindless politicization of the virus has put us on. So let's learn the right lessons and take this advice to heart from the president of the American Medical Association. Never again can we allow a campaign of misinformation and disinformation to co-opt conversations around public health and sow divisions that only serve to prolong the suffering of so many. And that's your reality check.